my name is Mr Penfold, uh, I'm an artist from Cambridge. Um, I've lived and worked in Cambridge my whole life. Uh, started drawing and painting when I was a kind of, well, always done it since I was a kid, but kind of started to take it as a passion when I turned it, you know, about 12, 13 years old. With the piece that I'm gonna paint for you guys, um, I kind of, I had a look at the glasses before we sent them in and I had got them when we posted them through and I was kind of looking at them for a little while thinking like what can I do with this because it's not exactly the nicest canvas to work on. I mean, take the lenses away and you've got barely any wood there and that's where I came up with the idea of pulling the arms out and laying them flat and sticking them to a panel and using them as texture on the panel rather than as objects and painting a whole piece almost ignoring the glasses so you paint your line straight through it and then you just kind of you'll see the glasses but they're there but they're not and we'll see what it looks like should be quite nice <laughs> my colors have always kind of been one of my things i've always been fascinated by what you can do with colors that you can't do with lines you know, there's when you put certain colours next to each other, you, it create, can create a black line down the middle of the two colours, even though there's no line there. And so, I mean, even though I use lots of black lines in it, I'm always fascinated by the relationships between colours, how it can make your eyes kind of shake, or you, it can draw you to one area, or it can make you read your way across the painting. So, oh, I do use bright colours, but it's usually balanced with like dark colours and really pale colours, and like that's what makes those bright colours pop. You know, um, with the shapes and stuff, it's just it's just naturally happened. My characters started out super simple, and then started getting more into kind of putting more detail into my characters. And then I started stripping them back again, and then it's got to the point where it's certain shapes from those characters that I enjoy drawing the most, and that's what I've taken from it. When putting a piece together. You know, there's different approaches to doing it, you know, sometimes you sit there with a bit of paper and get this, you know, do a sketch and get it worked out and then when you're making your painting you work quite strictly to the sketch. Sometimes, like the piece that I've done for you guys, I kind of, because of the nature of the bumps and stuff, I couldn't do anything too complex. So I knew that I needed to do something big and bold, so I kind of painted the first shape, which is a, a shape that's quite familiar to me. Kind of the triangle stuff um, and then I kind of balance the piece off that you know so I balance the corners and then uh, hard lines against soft lines curves against angles that kind of stuff and then you kind of just put it together so it feels right the composition of the piece feels kind of even you know there's not one side of it that feels heavy or light or yeah so it's even and balanced <laughs> 